Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. I hope you all will be fine. So as you know that in the previous video tutorial, we have successfully add validations for the delete post and uh, update uh, for the delete post and for the edit post. It basically means that now only an online user can edit his own personal post and can delete his own personal post. He will not be uh, he will not be uh, able to delete someone else's post. Now in this video tutorial, we are going to allow a user to delete his own personal post. So let's go to the Android Studio and on our click post activity we have our this delete post button and we have cast it in the previous video tutorials if, if you remembered so now we can simply set a click listener on that button that is if someone click on delete post button then we are going to delete that post so we can say set on click listener new on click listener and now Here we can call a method which we are going to create now and let's call it delete uh, current post that is the post which is selected. So this is the method and now let's create that method inside our click post activity. So our method is created now and inside this delete current post method we are going to remove that post on which the user click. So you know that we have already created a reference which is click post ref and this points to the post that is on which the user click. So it is very simple to delete that post. We can simply write here as click post ref dot remove value and put a semicolon here and once the post is deleted then we are going to send the user to the main activity. So instead of writing the code for sending the user to the main activity, we are just go to the main activity and from here we will uh, copy the code. Okay, sorry, not on this activity. We are going to copy the code from our login activity, which is our this method, which is send user to main activity. So copy this method from here and we will paste it on our click post activity at the bottom after that and we are going to call that method here which is send user to main activity and make sure to change the login activity to click post activity and also we have to notify the user that the post is deleted so let's display a toast message for the user and we will say post has been deleted So yeah, that's it. So this will basically delete the post from Firebase database. And also we can remove that image from our Firebase storage. As you know that we store the images files on our Firebase storage. So the image will be available here, but we are going to delete it just from the Firebase database. So if you guys uh, want, uh, if you guys want to delete uh, the post images, I mean the post files from the Firebase storage also, then let me know in the comment section below. Then I will also make a tutorial on that and we will be delete the image also from our Firebase storage. For now, I'm not going to delete the post image. I just want to put uh, to save all the images even if the user delete their post image i mean delete his post or her post but if you want yes you can delete the image file from the firebase storage so if you want me to do that thing then let me know in the comment section below and i will do that it, uh, it is just like we did uh, here i mean for the database so we will just create a reference to our Firebase storage, I mean to this and from there we will delete that specific image on which the user click. So for now I am just removing the image from the Firebase database. So now the next thing is, uh, yeah we are ready to run our app but before we run our app let me tell you that we need to add a validation here. Oh, you know, I mean here you can see that uh, when we say click uh, postref.addValueUnitListener. Whenever if we do not 
let me first add that validation cut this code from here control x and first we need to check for the child that is if data snapshot exists that is whenever the user delete a post and if you do not add this validation then our then our app will crash basically so we have to add this validation which is data snapshot exist so pass that code inside here now which is our this code okay so now let's run our app to see if uh, it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and you can see that i am logged in by this user okay if i click on someone else's post let's say i click on that then you can see that i can't see the edit post button and the delete post button and now let's delete the post of the user who is online so let's delete this post oh this is another user which is muhammad awes if i click on that post then i can't see the uh, buttons so let's delete uh, yeah this is the user who is online so now let's click on this delete post button and you can see that it says post has been deleted if i come down here then you can see that the post has been deleted successfully now let's delete another post so now let's click on this post delete post so you can say it says post has been deleted if i come down here then you can see that our other post is also uh, i mean that post has also been deleted successfully and one more thing which i want to tell you guys is about the post original i mean the post image original size that is uh, let's say i click on this post then you can see that the size of this image is small so that's why it is displayed on a small size uh, and if i click on another post let's say this one then the size of this image is large that's why it's appear large so i mean we have to uh, do something for the small images we have to display it on a full screen so for that i'm just going here and go to the clickpost.xml file click on this click post image and here i will simply write scale type and you can see we have made the uh, we have uh, right here in, that is the center uh, center inside okay so you can simply remove that center inside and make it i mean leave it empty okay and now if i run my app then it will be i mean it will lo look more pretty and the image height and width will be uh, uh, i mean will be uh, the image will be in its original form or you can say in its original size so you can see our app is running now successfully if i click on this post then the image is in original size now and let's say click on uh, any image whose size is very low and that image were here where it is this one click on it and you can see that the image now appear in its original i mean the even if the image size is small or you can say if the image quality is bad then we uh, we have to and we now display the image in its complete form i mean on the full size on our mobile screen so it's look more pretty than the previous one so now it is working fine i mean uh, everything is working fine now so in this video we have successfully allow a user to delete a post let me show to you again let's test it again so that you can see it that the post has been deleted so yeah everything is working fine so in the next video tutorial we are going to work on the edit post so we will allow a user to edit his post so when a user click on this edit post then he will be able to uh, set the description or you can say edit the description for the post so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now